Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video I'm showing you one of the very latest NAS or network attached storage devices from QNAP. This is the QNAP TVS 473E. It's a four bay NAS device so it accepts four three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives and what it allows you to do is uh, have like a central storage location for your files but so much more than that because it's actually expandable as well now during this video I'm going to be showing you the features uh, also talking about the build quality the speed of access which is really great on this particular NAS and also one of the accessories or upgrades that you can make to make the access even faster so before I show you uh, sort of the device up close I want to just sort of dive in and show you some of the features and I'm going to jump over to the QNAP website just to give you a closer look. So let's take a look at the QNAP website. So this is the TVS 473E and it has a quad core uh, APU up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and it also has an HDMI with a 4K output so plenty of uh, features here as well. You can also see here on the front panel, we've also got a USB input with a quick copy button and also a USB 3 input as well on the front. And it's just really nicely designed. I'll show you some of the drive bays coming out in a short while as well. Uh, this is what the front panel looks like. So we've got this display which actually shows you the IP address and gives you a couple of little buttons here for uh, navigating through the menu system. We've also got status uh, LEDs and lights for all of the drives and some extra sort of status indicators on the main top area here. And then if we just take a look around the back of the device on this one here, you can see all of the uh, inputs and outputs. So we've got two uh, slots at the top for PCI Express add-ons, the main input for the power supply, little tiny fan in the top right hand corner, We've also got a larger fan to keep all of the drives cool. Then we've got some audio outputs, HDMI, USB 3, and then a total of four gigabit Ethernet ports and of course a Kensington lock. If I just scroll down a little bit further, this gives you some of the main features. So we've got an integrated Radeon R7 GPU, which really helps with 4K video playback. We've also got two PCIe slots which support up to 10 gigabit Ethernet adapters, QM2 cards, one of which I've got here, and of course USB 3.1 cards as well, and wireless network cards support. Uh, we can use the mouse uh, actually as a PC, so you don't have to just use this as a central storage device. You can use this uh, by attaching a keyboard and mouse and an HDMI display and actually use it by itself. It's got a really good operating system installed. Uh, we've also got Q-tier auto tiering technology, uh, scalable storage as well, and also RAID 50 and 60 recommended uh, for NAS, NAS uh, setups with over 10 disks. Two models, we've got the 8G model, which is the one I've got here with 8GB of RAM, and also a slightly lower spec model with 4GB of RAM. The main accelerated processing unit really does give good uh, access speeds, and you can see here the data throughput really very very good uh, we've got up to 1106 megabytes per second on the read and up to 758 megabytes per second on the right and this just show, shows the internal layout uh, with the ram and also the expansion cards it really is a well thought out system uh, we can also expand it with these uh, dual pcie slots and i think i'll sort of jump straight in and show you the expansion card that I haven't yet installed on the QNAP device and this is the box so it's the QNAP I think it's called the QM2 2P there are other versions of this this particular one allows you to add dual M2 or 2280 PCIe Express uh, solid state drives so it's a really nice expansion uh, this is what the actual card looks like itself so this fits internally uh, into the device via the PCI Express slot. Uh, there's no sort of external uh, connections needed because this is like an internal uh, storage upgrade. And then underneath this section here is where you actually install the M2 SATA drives. And as I say, you can put up to two on this card. 
uh, and it just expands the storage capacity and also the performance of the QNAP NAS. So that's a really nice upgrade uh, to be able to add on to this. And it's what I like about this particular uh, model and other models in the range is the fact that you can expand them. Uh, now before I go on to showing you the control panel and how you set this up, I'll just take a very quick look just by pushing on here this actually wakes up the display and you can see uh, some details about the NAS and then you can flick through various menu options. Once I've actually shown you the control panel I will shut this down and then I'll show you how the actual drive bays work. But I did it this way round because it takes a little bit of a while to boot up. Uh, that's one of the things I've noticed about this, it's quite a long boot up time. But once it's up and running you can leave this. Uh, running 24 7. Uh, I would recommend using NAS specific hard drives in here. I've got Western Digital Red uh, drives installed in this particular unit. So now let's have a look at what the control panel looks like. Um, I have already logged into here temporarily uh, just to show you uh, what everything looks like, how you're going to control this and set it up. Uh, we've also got sort of minimized apps here as well which I can expand by clicking on them and it is a really good help center included with the uh, QNAP operating system and I think they've done a fantastic job it's got a full manual online resources and a help desk and that's always value, uh, available uh, you can either shrink this down like so back up to the uh, taskbar at the top or you can completely close down the help center and then we've got various icons and you will get more icons fill up as you install things because you can install apps on the device as well. But if we go into control panel, you can see just how much you can control here. So, so configurable. Uh, we've got power settings. For example, you can have it to automatically start up and shut down at certain times of day. Uh, we've got users that we can set up with various privileges and user groups and shared folders, of course. Uh, different network and file services including uh, Win, Mac and NFS, FTP services as well. Uh, we've also got applications, these are the ones I've got installed at the moment, so hybrid, desk station, web server, antivirus, iTunes server, the list goes on and on. Uh, so this is our main control panel. We've also got file station which actually allows you to open this up and navigate through the various shares. So for example, I'm using this for the movies I've completed and uploaded to YouTube um, and it's just really nice that we've got a really good file manager built in. It means that you can access this via the internet as well as through your desktop and yes it will work. I've got a question coming here from uh, uh, Damian Scannell, can you use this on a PC? Yes this works on both um, a PC and a Mac and Linux I believe as well. So we've got my QNAP cloud, which is like a cloud service. We've also got an app center. Uh, this is where you can actually install applications. So this is what I've got installed already, just here. Uh, we've also got uh, various backup and sync options, just so, so many. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that apart from some of these requiring licenses, which you would pay for, uh, I haven't seen any paid for apps just some do do require add-on licenses but pretty much all of these are free um, download uh, station is a good one because you can actually set something downloading to the NAS device and then turn your computer off and it, as long as you keep the NAS device on it will continue downloading it so because it's got its own operating system it's just very very powerful system to run uh, you can also load this up with movies and music and serve them across DLNA devices in your home We've even got home automation here as well and security. So plenty of choices in the App Center and this is evolving all the time. We've got the Help Center we've already looked at, Cloud Link, uh, Media Streaming add-on and QSync Central is really interesting. Uh, you can basically install the QSync app on the NAS and install it on your desktop, uh, be that Windows PC or Mac or indeed on your smartphone as well and then it will synchronize files on those devices across to your NAS automatically. So it's like having your own sort of uh, cloud backup on your devices. It's really very, very, very well laid out and very well thought out. So that's what the operating system looks like. Uh, super easy to set up. There's a wizard when you first turn this on that guides you through all of the stages. Uh, you don't have to fully populate this from day one either. You can install just maybe two 
hard drives and then when your capacity uh, needs or requirements uh, become greater then you can add in the third and fourth drives at a later stage and depending upon what RAID system you choose gives you uh, various levels of data redundancy uh, so I've got this set up as a RAID 5 so I can have up to two I think it's two disks fail um, uh, and it sort of stores uh, rebuild data across the other drives in the RAID array so then if I have a drive fail pop that out order a new one put the new one in and it will rebuild uh, the RAID array and you won't lose any data so it's got really nice features absolutely love it and it's very very fast in comparison to some of the other NAS devices that I use on my network at the moment this is super fast with regards to transfer speeds almost as though it's a local drive it is that quick for transferring gigabytes worth of data across which I have done already so before I shut this down and uh, show you sort of how the drive bays work let's just jump into the live chat this is a live broadcast and as always I say hello to the first four in a live chat so a big hello to the unexpected Joseph Kumar uh, Damian Scannell and also Mark Lovegrove uh, a big hello to you and a big hello to all of you thanks for tuning in if you are watching this live you can leave me a live chat or question you can also use the super chat so if you want your question or comment highlighted hit the dollar symbol that helps support the channel and also brings your question or comment to my attention and also if you're watching this after the live broadcast don't forget I answer pretty much every single comment so drop me a comment or a question below and ask me questions about this QNAP device and I'll answer as many as I can and then one last thing if you like the video hit that like button and subscribe of course let's take a look in the chat uh, Mark Lovegrove is saying I use my QNAP for downloads and as a Plex server and it works great yet you can install the Plex uh, server on here and that serves up your content to other devices with a really nice front end sort of user interface uh, really good to hear that Mark really good to hear that it's working great for you uh, Damian, uh, Damian Scannell says how much does it cost and how much are the expansion cards there's a link down in the video description area to current pricing I don't normally discuss pricing in my videos purely because technology moves at such a fast pace and with this particular device as well there are so many different models and configurations I always just put the link down in the video description because that's the most current pricing uh, the unexpected is asking can you use this with SSDs to give you faster transfer speeds and use them in a RAID array yes you can you could load this up fully just with solid state drives if that's your choice uh, Joseph Kumar saying your studio is looking beautiful Dave yet yeah, we are live in the editing room today this is the editing room and um, I've been trying to make it a little bit tidier uh, there is something behind me here but I've just covered it up for the time being because that's for a future video and I wanted this particular broadcast to have no spoilers in so anyway I said that I would shut this down I'm going to stop talking whilst I shut it down because this does have a voice notification so when it starts up it tells you it's booting up and when it's shutting down it tells you as well so let's let's shut this down shutting down so it says shutting down very cool I know I know it's not a really big feature but I just like that voice uh, feedback so we'll leave that shutting down for a bit uh, whilst it is shutting down I think we'll pop back across and just have a look at some of the other features and then I want to show you how these drive bays work so we already talked about the um, potential of the dual PCIe Express slots and I think this is a really good idea I think it's a fantastic idea because you can actually expand the system a great deal uh, without having to buy a whole new NAS unit um, now let's scroll down a little bit more we've got uh, this is I think the card that I've got here the QM2 2P uh, we can actually uh, use the SSDs for caching uh, or create a RAID 5 tiered storage along with two M2 SSDs which is probably what I'll do with this unit uh, you can also get a, a 10 gigabit Ethernet um, PCI Express card uh, I didn't opt for that one because I haven't uh, yet implement, implemented a faster network in the editing room and studio so um, thus I think the M2 expansion card was a better choice uh, this Q tier optimization is really powerful technology as well uh, I just think it's fantastic what QNAP have done with this now we've got uh, direct access to files with USB quick access these are the two ports on the front 
Uh, and what you can actually do uh, is directly access uh, files stored on the TVS 473E without needing to network, uh, without needing network connectivity. So you can sort of di directly copy or directly connect to your particular computer. So it's like got a DAS feature as well, direct attached storage. So out of these two ports you're seeing on your screen at the moment, the top one is if you're going to plug in a USB flash drive and then copy the data across with a single push of a button. And the bottom one is if you want to directly connect it to a computer. So no need to have access to the network. Maybe you're just coming in with your laptop. You just want to quickly access some files that are stored on the internal drives. And that's what it allows you to do. It's a very, very nice um, feature indeed. And then I mentioned the HDMI outputs. Not many NAS drives have HDMI outputs. So I think this is a really nice feature as well. The fact that you can actually connect this directly to a screen or a TV, it will output in 4K um, and you can access the content using the built-in operating system with a mouse and keyboard connected. So it's got some really nice features and functionality. Now, I also mentioned that now this is shut down, I'm going to show you the actual drive bays. I think I'll do it with this M1 here. It doesn't matter which one, but this is currently locked in position. Uh, one of the minor niggles I've got with this is there's no key lock, so the drives aren't secure in the device. Uh, but that's not a deal breaker. We push this down like so, and then we pull up this lever here, and this actually allows you to take the drive out. Uh, this is what I've got installed. So these are six terabyte Western Digital Red drives. Uh, no tools required. These side panels just clip off uh, and, and they hold the drive in place. And then if we look on the bottom here, you can see the mounting holes for if you were using a smaller two and a half inch solid state drive. And then to reinstall this, uh, it's, it's like a little catch on the top. If you can just see there, a little catch that goes up and down. And then to reinstall this, and again, no tools required, the SATA connection just lines up perfectly with the connector in the back of the drive. We simply slot this back into place, click it home, and then we can push this back up to stop it from accidentally being taken out. Uh, these are the two um, uh, USB ports I mentioned, the top one being for a quick copy feature, and the bottom one for that direct attached feature as well. Uh, plenty of ventilation on the sides, it's sort of metal uh, powder coated panels on the side, plastic on the front, uh, metal on the back, and it's just really nicely designed. So let's um, power this back on. And you can see it checks the BIOS, uh, checks the memory, and then it will start actually loading up the system, ready for you to access your files. I just think it's a great, great system very very good indeed uh, we've got the unexpected asking what's the maximum capacity you can use for each drive bay to be used in a raid array configuration I'm pretty sure but don't quote me on this uh, I'm pretty sure you can put up to 12 terabyte drives in here so 48 terabytes across the four bays if not then it definitely supports the 10 terabyte drives uh, something like the iron wolf pro or even think the western digital red drives go up to 10 terabytes as well now so plenty of capacity and in this tvs uh, 473 range i think there's like a 673 and an 873 as well so you can get an eight bay uh, six bay version and an eight bay version uh, so if you need that extra capacity you can go for one with more drive bays as well so anyway that is it for this particular video. If you want a NAS drive uh, for centrally storing all of your data, but so much more, something that's really expandable, very well made, with a great stable operating system, uh, and something that you can really expand the use case scenarios with the fact that you can install apps on here as well, then I can highly recommend this. I've left a link down below to both the QNAP website and also where you can pick up this for yourself. If you've got any questions at all, leave me some comments. And as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. And I'll see you all in the next one.